hello soulmates if this is your first time checking out my channel you are welcome my name is Melissa and today I will be showing you how to make a simple but elegant dress um, to do this project I'm going to use two different fabrics here I have a black fabric and I also have this beautiful um, fabric here that I will use with the black to achieve this dress to do this um, dress you're going to need to draft your basic dress pattern and I'll show you how to do this I'm, I'll be drafting on my fabric and um, I have folded this fabric into two with the biggest part of my body measurement which is my hip and I added some seam allowances also so let's get started so the first thing I will do seeing that this dress is going to have a zipper at the back and also it's gonna have a slit at the front I'm going to at the front at the edge of my fabric I'm going to take one inch and that will represent the front and the back of the dress so I'm gonna take one inch all the way down I'm gonna draw that line that represent my zipper allowance and also um, allowance to join the two panels together at the front it's one inch so the length of my dress and I want my dress to be 43 inches long which is including my seam allowance okay so that's the zipper allowance slash the allowance to join the front. Now I'm going to start by drawing my starting point, which is my shoulder line. Okay. And from here, I want the dress to be 43 inches long, 43 and a half. Okay, so this is 43 and a half. I'm going to make that and cut it off. 43 and a half. Okay. Just gonna take this off so that it doesn't bother. Let it break. Okay, so this is 43 and a half. Now, I'm going to add my vertical measurements. So, from my shoulder point to my chest line, that's 8.25. Alright, 8.25. From my shoulder to my bust point line is 10.5 inches. From my shoulder to my waist is 16 and a half inches. Shoulder to my hip is 24 inches. And then you have the length of the dress at the bottom. So I'm gonna make all these into a straight line yeah. that's my chest that's my bust point waist hip the length of the dress plus seam allowance let me just put my one inch here 
my seam alongs. Okay. All right. So as you know, I, to do a dress pattern is the same as how you would do your basic bodice. It's only that it has it has an extension. Okay. The only thing is that it has an extension. So at my from this line here, the seam allowance, I'm going to take my three inches, eight inches standard measurement. Okay. Gonna go down. If you did not check out my basic bodice, you can go ahead and do so. It's basically the same thing. Okay. And I'm going to add my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is eight inches, which includes seam allowance. So I'm gonna make a line to get my armhole. So here, my armhole, I'm gonna find the midpoint of this line, which is here. And I'm gonna go in three quarters of an inch. Use my your front armhole and this is the back armhole okay before I forget I'm just going to do the neckline so the neckline because I drafted the other part of the dress on the other fabric I use three and a half inches so this is three half an inch is gonna be here lest I forget and for the back I went down one inch and the front I went down four inches okay so I'm going to make my neckline the back and the front because I'm drafting the back and the front together and I'm gonna put my shoulder measurement here which is half an inch to sew it together okay. there you are so moving on to my chest measurement on my chest line I'm going to put my armhole measurement, a quarter of my, not my armhole, my bust measurement, sorry. So my bust is 40, and dividing that by four is 10, and I'm gonna add half an inch, seam alone, so that's 10 and a half, plus one inch to sew it together. Okay, my waist is 34, quarter of 34 is 8.5, so I'm going to add a dart to this, so it would be 9.5, so 9.5 is here, plus 1 inch seam allowance. At my hip, my hip is 43, that is 10.75, I'm not going to add any seam allowance here. So this is 10.75, plus 1 inch to sew it together hope you can see this quite well so at the bottom now I'm going to put this is 10.75 so I'm going to subtract one it's going to be 9.75 plus one inch to sew it together and then I'm going to connect all these lines here so. Remember I told you in my in my video with the skirt I like to go down one inch when I'm showing how to draft a basic skirt I always go down one and a half inch because I just think that the skirt the dress or the skirt fits me much much better so I'm going to connect from that one and a half inch down 
to the end of my skirt. So all the way here. Okay. So now I'm going to put my dart at this point. So here I'm going to take four inches, which is my bust band measurement for four ear my bust point and four at my hip okay make a straight line and you're going to take your dart here which is half an inch half an inch you're going to go up one and a half inch from your hip and go down one inch from your bust point you connect So there you have it guys, it's done. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna extend this four inch mark up to my chest line because I just want the dart for the back also once and that's it. So here I'm going to mark it here and also here so that I could draw that dart at the area and do one inch up from the back so that don't make that mistake so I'm going to turn this over you see and I'm gonna chart this here so you're gonna cover those points if I wanna okay. connect those dots so that you don't have to worry where they are when you're ready to sew the other side. Okay. So here you have it guys. This is your dress. Here I also did the same thing on this fabric. The same thing here. If you notice, it's the same exact thing for everything, the length is the same, the hip, the waist, everything is the same. So what I'll do now is that I will slit open the front of both of them because now I need to separate them. The back goes to the back and the front goes to the front. But let me cut this out first. So I cut the back first. your dress so I'm going to open the back open it up because you're separating them now and take the back off let me just notch here to show where my This is the front and this is the back. I'm also going to open up this one. Okay. Put the 
box together. So the back and the back will go together. Front will go together. There you have it. have the back this is the back of the dress and this is the front so what I will do with the front is that I will match up them properly match them up properly okay sure that they're the same right Same at the bottom, it looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to cut out the neck area. So this here, cut out the neck area. And the armhole area. There you go. Also, so this is the front of your dress. I'm just going to mark my darts. And I'm gonna notch here. All right, so this is the front. Okay. And this is the back. The right sides are facing each other, right? So don't make that mistake. Also, I went ahead and I cut out my basic sleeve that I will use on this dress. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take this dress and I'm going to sew my darts in. So I'm going to join. So this is the back. The right sides are facing each other, as I said. I'm going to, since I'm going to put a zipper in this, I'm going to join the back together. But there's something important that I would like to show you. To avoid bulging, bulging at the back, there's a specific technique that I'm going to show you to do to avoid your dress bulging. At this point, at the waist, so this is the waist, I'm going to go in half an inch here and I'm going to connect that half an inch to this point and to somewhere above the hip so I'm going to connect I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing okay you're going to connect this like so and this one here so now your new zipper line is along this line here Okay, so also you have to come in half an inch here to get the correct thing. Okay, and connect it. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that out right here. Out that half an inch that I took out. There you go. So now I'm going to take to my sewing machine and I'm going to run a basting stitch. This is the zipper that I'm going to use. I'm going to use an invisible zipper for this project. 
and I'm going to first add my zipper and then I'm gonna take it all the way to the end sew it all the way to the end add my zipper sew it all the way to the end for the front panel I'm going to so this is the front I'm going to add or sew all the way from here all the way down and I'm gonna leave that it be about this high I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna make a basting stitch all the way down so I'm gonna do that and show you what it looks like okay guys so this is what I have I joined the panels together so there you have it this is the front and this here is the back there's the back Okay, I haven't put my zipper yet. I think I'm gonna take my dart first and then search. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take these darts in. So since this is the back, I'm gonna take that dart. And I'm also gonna take the dart in for this part also. Here and here, okay? I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I sewed my darts. As you see, this is the front, right? And this, so my darts are here. And this is the back, the back darts. See, I've sewn those together. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to put them right sides facing each other like this. And I'm going to, in the back, I'm gonna put my zipper. If you do not know how to put an invisible zipper in a zip in a, in a dress or a skirt and you would like me to show you I'll be happy to just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll show you how that is done after I do that I'm going to join my two panels at the shoulder like this using my half an inch seam allowance on both sides and I'm gonna take my one inch seam allowance that I left at the side both sides so I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what it looks like okay guys so this is how the dress looks like um, I added my zipper this is how it looks on the front okay so the dress looks like the front. I also um, overlocked my seams with my serger, you know, and this is what it looks like. This is what the back looks like with the zipper inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my facing. So what I did, I put fusing on my facing and I joined them at the shoulder. And I'm going to take my dress and I'm going to add half an inch allowance sew it half an inch allowance all the way around and then I'm going to notch and top stitch to my seam alone is this is what it looks like when I sew the facing so I sewed it all around and then it will look like this on the right side and then I'm going to just tuck this with my needle and thread. And I also, at the back, I run a stitch along the zipper area so that it looks like this at the back, okay? So I'm gonna give that a good press. So this is so beautiful, guys, beautiful. Uh, okay. the zipper is in this looks beautiful I'm gonna tuck that in and I'm gonna press this area right here now it's just my zipper to go in my arm sleeve <laughs> to go in and then I'll be done I'll open this hem it and I'll be done <laughs> 